What's up, this is Austin with ATP, and today I'm going to show you how to get yourself to sound decent when you're recording. Ideally, when you're done recording, you're going to want to turn all your effects off uh, to send it into mixing and mastering. To me especially, I like getting my vocals raw. There's a couple things you can do to make yourself sound better to you, to make it sound a little more polished. That just gives you this type of confidence that uh, I think a lot of people need, especially when they're starting um, to record. First thing I use is Auto-Tune. I know a lot of people don't use this, but I really like it. The, if you have Antares, the key with this is to obviously have the key set to the right notes. That'll depend on your instrumental. And then have the low latency button selected because that'll make sure that there's no delay when you record into this plugin. This takes a lot of power to run and most people's PCs, even mine, can't, uh, can't really use it the greatest. Next up is the EQ. This doesn't have to be too serious either. I would recommend having a high pass and then maybe just a high end sparkle boost up here. So to get the high pass, I'll just disable this. Um, go to type, high pass, reset that, order. It can be any of these. I like gentle, gentle eights pretty good. And then reset. And then bring it back to about 80, 90. It doesn't really matter. Um, Somewhere in here is good, just to get some of this boominess out of the vocal. Next up is a compressor. The settings on here, you can pretty much copy these. The threshold's going to depend on how loud you have your gain set to. If you have your gain set louder, it's going to hit the threshold earlier, so this is going to have to be higher up. For what I'm doing right now, around 16 is good. Ratio should be set to 2. Any higher than that is just too much compression, like this! And then I like to use this gain setting to um, monitor what I'm hearing in my ears. And then if you really want to get fancy, we could turn on some reverb. Um, in FL, if you're trying to do reverb, never put it on the insert that you're using with all your other effects. Make sure you send it to an aux channel like this. And then put your reverb here. For uh, settings, I do decay at like 0.75 and then the pre-delay around 40. That seems to sound good for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, to me, obviously this wouldn't sound good sitting over a mix, but just for me and my ears right now, it sounds a lot better. It sounds pretty good. So I hope you guys like it. Thanks for watching.